This demo will showcase how to export data from Salesforce using dataloader.io. Dataloader is a simple, yet very powerful tool that makes possible to export, import, and delete data in Salesforce. In this demo, we will focus on exporting contact information, such as full name and email address, as well as its related object. In our case, it would be an account name and the industry. We will also set a filtration criteria to only export contacts that have an email address. We will enable notifications so when the export is completed, we will receive an email report. Lastly, we will connect our data loader to Dropbox and schedule daily exports. So the records are exported from our Salesforce instance and the CSV file is uploaded into our Dropbox folder automatically. Now let's move to data loader and see how we can make this possible. Once logged in, we will go to the new task and click on export. We've divided the export into three simple steps. In the first step, we will select the Salesforce connection and the object type we want to export. In this demo, we are using an enterprise edition of dataloader.io, so you can see that we have multiple Salesforce connections available here. We will use the default one and proceed with the export. We will search for the object type we want to export, select it, and click Next. In the second step, we will select the fields we want to export and define the filtration criteria. Here, we will select contacts email address and its full name, as well as look for related object information, such as account name and the industry. Then, we will define the filtration criteria to only export contacts that have an email address. and then order the records by contact name. As you can see here, Data Loader has already generated a so cool query, which you can modify to more specifically meet your needs. We will leave it as it is and click on Next. In the last step, we will see the summary of the export we've just created, as well as the advanced settings, such as schedules and destination repositories. Let's go ahead and add a daily schedule, so Data Loader will run this task every day extracting the information we've just defined. As you might have noticed here, we will be using Batch API, since this is the only option available when exporting related objects. We will also add notifications, so every time when the task runs, we will receive an email report. Here, under the Advanced tab, we will find Advanced Settings, where we can specify a date format, timeout, as well as set the limit to a specific number of rows. We will leave it as it is, and we'll go to the last tab to add the destination repository. As you can see here, Data Loader provides direct connectivity to FTP, SFTP, Dropbox, and Box. We will pick Dropbox, select the folder we want to save the CSV file to, and click on Save and Run. Once the task is completed, we will receive an email notification. And if we go to our Dropbox folder, we will find the CSV file. Let's download the file. When we open it, we will see the contacts as well as its parent account information. Depending on the use case, we can use this CSV file to import the data into a third system, such as database, SAP, or another Salesforce instance. When we go back to Data Loader, we will see that we can download the CSV file directly from here as well. From here, we will be able to edit, run, schedule, delete, or clone the existing tasks. Today, we've shown you how to export data from Salesforce using dataloader.io. If you want to learn more about Data Loader Basics or how to import or delete data in Salesforce, you can follow one of these links. Thank you.